YouTube is bad for your website. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? So if you've got videos that you are creating to put out onto the world uh, and you want to put that video onto your website, that's all very well. Don't use YouTube to embed it on your website. And the reason for that is that the performance of YouTube is absolutely rubbish. And even though it's a Google product and Google want you to use YouTube, uh, the way they load it and the way and the amount of assets and so forth that it has to actually render a video on your website is really poor. Now, the reason that, that is bad is because uh, the Lighthouse stats that Google use in terms of measuring your performance and your site's performance are actually at odds with YouTube. So there's one Google product saying, yeah, this is a really good thing. You should use YouTube. And on the other side of the coin, the bit that says, well, I'm going to rank your website well because it's quick and it's got good content is going, well, actually, YouTube's really bad. And I'm going to show you an example about exactly what we did to help rectify this problem and show you the before and after about why it is so bad. So let's take a look. So we have a web page here. It's, it's one of the pages on our site. And we started out by having this video here embedded using YouTube. Nice and simple, nothing complex, nothing difficult. And we've measured this twice. So here is the first version of that report. Um, now, if you ever want to do these, you can simply right click on a website, click inspect, and then use the Lighthouse tab in Google Chrome. And then it will allow you to run a report and give you this information. Uh, this is generally the best way of doing it because it's typical, as in it's using a typical internet connection, it's using a typical computer, and more most importantly, it's coming from your geography where you are and more than likely where the rest of your audience are instead of being tested from the other side of the world. So let's see what we've got. We've got a performance of 64, and our best practices down on 83. We want to get those as high as we can. And this is going to be one of the things that's going to make a big difference. So let's have a look at the detail about why that is the case. So we've got some render blocking resources. All right. Well, you know, nothing obvious there that says YouTube. So it's probably not that. The largest contentful paint image, it's saying preload that image. Uh, we can see that's coming from ytimage.com. That's YouTube's image server. So here we go. We're starting to already see some impact of half a second of loading that's preventing the, uh, the, the site from loading properly. Let's have a look at some unused JavaScript. What's, what have we got in here? Um, okay, so none of those are related, so we can ignore that for a minute. Unused CSS, have we got any YouTube related stuff in here? Probably not. There's some inline CSS, but everything else is coming from our site. What else have we got? All right, LinkedIn, Stripe, HCAP to Stripe, something from, Okay, there we go. Now I've got a, a YT image. All right, so 110K there. Another YouTube one there. LinkedIn CDN, H capture, some stuff there, and talk to you. That's the live chat thing. So there's a, a few things there that are causing a bit of strife in terms of our performance and our best practices score. All, of, all we did was quite literally, we changed this image, and we're in YouTube, uh, we're in WordPress, and we haven't changed the player. On our site, we use the very, very good Presto player plugin. It's great for uh, YouTube-based videos because it strips out the ads and does a whole bunch of other things. Still doesn't prevent YouTube from loading all of the assets it needs in the background. So here's what we did. We took the same video that we put into YouTube. We uploaded it through Presto player to bunny.net. And on bunny.net, we are using the streaming system called Bunny Stream. And now uh, what this does is uh, Presto Player is tightly integrated to bunny.net. They are different companies and separate products, but it makes it really easy to stream and transcode uh, videos. So that means when you upload your, your original video, Bunny actually transcodes it into specific formats that are relevant for the specific user or the device that the user's on. So that means, for example, they'll get a, an Apple optimized mobile video when they're looking at it on their iPhone. OK, so that's all we did. We left the player there uh, in Presto. We just changed that over to a Bunny.net fed video. And this is what the end result is. So our performance has gone up by six points from 64 to 60. 
okay? And our best practice there you can see has had a huge leap. So there's the before, we've gone from 83 and we've leapt up to 92. So we've had nine points better in best practices. And uh, as far as performance goes, we've gone up by six. Okay, so there's clearly some more work we need to do on this website, but purely by removing YouTube from that page load, we've actually bumped up our uh, Lighthouse scores by a significant margin. So I hope that was useful. If you need some more assistance with your WordPress website or dealing with your website, making it nice and fast, please reach out to us. Uh, there's a link below which I'll give you some information on our care plan and how important it is to look after your WordPress website. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe below and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.